the Great Mortality, the Bubonic Plague, the Black Death, all words for the same event. Approximately one-fourth of the population of the entire world was wiped out within about 10 years. Best guesses are from 450 million down to 350 million people. The plague hit Europe the worst, wiping out approximately 50% of the entire population. What the heck happened during this time? Let's take two steps back and talk about the world. This terrible outbreak started in 1331, reached Europe in 1346, and dwindled by around 1355. Keep in mind that this was during a time when people didn't know what caused you to get sick. There weren't toilets, or garbage trucks, or refrigerators. They didn't have running water, and baths were definitely not an everyday thing. Life was dirty, which led to the spread of the disease quite easily. So what is the Black Death? It's caused by a bacteria, Yersinia pestis. The bacteria is carried mostly by rats and spread to humans through flea bites. Asian gerbils and other rodents may have also had something to do with the plague, though the research done on it so far hasn't exonerated the rats in any way. There are three different types of plague, all caused by the same bacteria, Yersinia pestis. Bubonic plague, which infects your lymph system and causes huge, blister-like pus bubbles near your lymph nodes. Septicemic plague, which is an infection of your blood. And pneumonic plague, which is an infection of the lungs. Pneumonic plague can be spread very easily among people. Even though it's terrible, you're not limited to just one type of the disease. It can spread to be different types, or you can be infected with different types at the same time. Pneumonic and septicemic plague have mortality rates up to 99% in untreated cases, with bubonic plague around 50%. Plague is obviously quite deadly and scary, but where did it go? Did we wipe it out? Sadly, no, it's not gone. A few thousand cases are reported every year, though medical treatment is much more effective, and in general, our lives are cleaner than 700 years ago. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about rats and fleas in our everyday lives. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.